What's up guys, my name's Mitch. This is the uh, Celestron Nexstar 6SE. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this solar filter. I currently have my telescope pointing at the sun and it seems to be working. Not very good at filming through there. I don't have attachments to attach my stuff, camera media to the telescope, but it's working good. Stick around, I'll show you how I did it. So I'm gonna make this with uh, some scrap plywood, a template that I drew up on the computer, and that kind of gives me the dimensions I'm gonna need for this. I've also got a couple pieces of Lexan that I'll be using, and of course the solar filter material, which is currently still in the mail. All right, so I'm gonna just cut this plywood into some sheets that are roughly the size of my paper. Using spray adhesive, I'm gonna throw those templates right on there. Okay, so one of these is gonna get cut to the red. I wanna keep this piece. The other one's gonna get cut from the red to somewhere in between here. I could cut here at the six inch mark, the inside of the black circle, but my filter media is six inches by six inches. So just to make sure no sunlight gets past that, I've decided to come in a little bit. With a pre-drilled hole, I used the jigsaw and I followed my lines. That's why we make templates, guys. We just follow the lines. Okay, here's a look at the uh, the finished cutting for the wood. Now I've got two pieces of Lexan that I've taped together. I'm gonna glue and cut. Peel that off, I guess, while I can. Pull those apart uh, while I can. Heat gun definitely helps get that template off with uh, whatever type of spray glue I had. So I had a couple nasty voids in my plywood. I just went ahead and filled those with uh, five minute epoxy. All right, so I've stacked these up. I've just taped them together. I got the small ring, two pieces of, of Lexan, and then um, the big ring. So I already peeled my template off. Um, I went ahead and changed the template and actually added these little, these little drill dots. So I'm just gonna try to put this back on and then uh, we'll drill some holes. So just mark those, drill those, and screw those. And sand the entire edge. This really isn't important, but uh, I just wanted it to look rounder, I guess. This mark right here, this little bandsaw cut, is just so that I can realign everything once I take it apart. This is a uh, flat black spray paint. I thought flat black was appropriate. I also painted the edges of my plastic Lexan stuff. This is uh, some one side sticky foam. Uh, here you'll realize, yep, yep, I used the wrong thickness. So I went back to the store, got some thinner stuff, which was white. And yep, that's a nice fit. Drop in a couple eyelets. Okay, so I've got my two eyelets in. I've got a piece of paracord here. It's seven feet long, which might actually be a hair too long, but. Tied a knot in one end. I'm gonna just come through this bottom eyelet. I'm gonna pull it eh, most of the way through. Then I'm gonna come up through here. I'm just gonna pass it through the top eyelet. I'm gonna come back down. Then I'm just gonna run it through my knot or my loop. And then I'm gonna pinch it, put a little cinch knot in there, and I can trim this off. This isn't real tight. <clears throat> this is the dust cover. Uh, I haven't finished putting this thing together, but this isn't gonna come off of here, guys, at all. Um, I just have the string on there just in case, you know. 